Another fucking office party. Hooray. Who the fuck is even gonna be there? Please tell me you brought the chili without spilling it this time. Not gonna lie, she's my television crush. I'm surprised that you didn't get fired, but I'm glad that you didn't though. This girl is so clingy, she'll be able to wrap up your leftovers. You walked in trying to be the boss, and you left with the memory of kissing one of the most boring people in the office. Speaking of which, this sad fuck can't catch a break. This man literally did push-ups so that he could leave work early and then just walk the fuck out. Michael did it, not me. Hey friend, best friend, hi. That's my best friend. You are a very unflattering person, but you like horror films and you're freakishly tall, so I guess that evens out. Irritating and unlikable, but he's a hard worker and he's not afraid to get his hands dirty. By the way, what you do with Angela in the warehouse, can you stop that please? Yes, Angela, we all knew. You can step off of your high horse now. Goddamn know-it-all. Big ass goofball with a perfect fucking afro. I like your cut, G. She reminds me of some random lady that you would talk to in a library. I don't understand your website at all. A very entertaining plot device. Fuck those assholes for firing you. You are awesome. I swear to God, Michael did it. You went out with a bang. And I can appreciate that. Tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> I love this guy. I love him even more in Adult Swim. You hurt Michael and that's enough for me not to like you, but you being here is necessary because after her, Michael found the love of his life. We've all had a boss like this at some point in our employment. And we all know that person at work who stomachs the bullshit of the boss so that no one else has to. God bless you. Just because this man was in a few crappy movies does not make him any less versatile. He's still a good actor. But seriously though, you need to find a new agent.